Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. The other day I released a video on an on-site job of the first job site out of four. Well, yesterday I did the other three job sites in one day. What we did, we took out all the old switches, all the firewalls, and we replaced them with some unified devices. We connected them and made sure that the networks and phones were back up. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at mactelecomn. And if you like to watch live stream gaming, you can find me on Twitch and that will be in the description below. Now let's get to the first on-site job. Well, this is site one of three. I was told there was a freestanding rack, at least a 42U, but as you can see, we have a, this 4U uh, little rack here. So it's gonna be interesting to figure out how we put our switch and our UDM Pro. Um, they don't even have a firewall in place right now. We have this bell fiber coming in, which we won't be using. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I need to rip this gear out. I would trace these cables, but we just need to make sure we plug in the ports that are currently there as they're on a flat network. So I'm going to start taking this stuff apart. All right, I found my Unilite, so it should be a little bit brighter over here, but we took the Nortel switch out. We're gonna end up putting the UDM Pro on the bottom and then our 48 port up top. Um, we're not gonna be able to make this look too much cleaner. Um, one, we're on a time constraint. I need to get to two other sites, get them on up and running. And there's really not too much we could do with this. I would have loved to put a new rack in here and maybe we can do that eventually. So now let's get the UDM Pro racked and stacked. Now that the patch cables are in place, we need to put in a DAC cable between the switch and the UDM Pro. Okay, so here's what we've done. We just patched everything in and we got to get going to the next site. As this site took a little bit longer, the internet wasn't set up when it should have been. Um, so now we're in a bit of a rush, but we'll be going to the second site now. Okay, so this is site two and we have a, uh, another Avaya switch and we have a Cisco router and a 48 port patch panel pretty much the same thing as the last site um, we're gonna have to reuse all these patch cables I'll try to make it look as neat as possible this really doesn't look too bad so what we're gonna do we're gonna rip out all these patch cables pull up the switch in the router and then install our ubiquity gear
So I was able to find 23 slim patch cables, which all, that's all we need for the top row. We'll have to use two of these longer patch cables to plug into the switch. So we're gonna end up taking these ones out and then plugging it into the 48 uh, Unify switch. Okay, so we got some of the cables put in, we got everything up and configured, and then we have our DAC cable in between the switch and the UDM. I'm gonna have to move this ISP cable, we're just doing some testing right now. But that is pretty much for site two, so now we have to move on to site three. So this is the third and final site for the day. We pretty much have the same thing. Uh, we have a 48 port patch panel, and then we have a 24, and a bunch of cables coming down, and another switch we have to remove. Um, for this one, it's going to be a bit different because we're going to be putting a TP-Link switch in. I couldn't get a Unify uh, switch fast enough, so we got to use that. So I'm going to start taking this apart. So I'll show you what was done for a temporary solution. We just put in this TP-Link switch. It didn't come with rack ears, which was very surprising to me. We have to come back with a unified switch anyway. So that's just resting on top of the firewall. Um, this rack, I'm gonna recommend that we rip it down because it is pretty crooked and not too stable. So I'll have to talk to the owners about that. Um, up top here, we have an SD WAN solution going into our UDM Pro and we have two WAN connections. And really that's it until we come back again and hopefully put a new rack up. I'll re-terminate all the cables and we'll make it all nice and neat. So that's gonna be it for this on-site video. We still need to go back to that third site, replace that TP-Link switch and hopefully replace the rack. If we do that, I'll record it and I'll take a longer time explaining what I'm doing. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.